Lynn had an award for most improved player. It would likely go to Jawan Morgan as the tip is controlled by number 16, Ohio State. And Indiana opens up in a man to man. They're going to have to be very cognizant, as you alluded to earlier, of Weston on the low block. He's gonna, they're going to have to get plenty of help. In the last game, he was perfect, seven for seven from down low. CJ Jackson has the window open up and he finishes. Well, that was just an easy drive in a lane created by the big body of Caleb Wesson. Indiana winners of four of the last five, shooting over 50% in that stretch. Robert Johnson makes this team so different when he can hit threes. Turnover right away into the hands of Jackson. He pushes. Skip pass ahead. Off the window and through. Nice job with the bounce pass on the break. Advantage break. And Ohio State's gotten off to a nice start, building a lot of confidence on the away floor. McSwain, cross court pass. Green tries to probe, now turns around. And Green tried to get Caleb Wesson to switch out on him, but Wesson wasn't having any of it. Johnson, the runner, can't fall. Offensive rebound, Morgan. Games this year, 10 games with 20 or more. Seemingly out of nowhere this year, makes the back end. Sports, particularly in basketball, for young people to realize, you know, it's not enough to be born with talent. Tate trying to go off dribble. Lance kicks into the corner to Jackson. And they tried to lob down low, looking for Wesson, but too strong. Yeah, Wesson can get up a little bit, but not quite <laughs> that high. The shake by Green, pull up. McSwain offensive rebound, finishes. Well, Indiana's going to need that and more. Obviously, to neutralize the inside play of Ohio State, but outstanding hitting the offensive glass. Tate feeds Wesson as a seam. And that's what they're afraid of. Big fella using his body, shielding off the defenders, creating a nice target for the passer. Juan Morgan for three. Not exactly a guy you pitch in as a three-point shooter. 31% of the season. Ice cream by West around a free up Jackson. It updates DF silence so far. Jackson penetrates. No foul. Front iron. Bates Diop controls a fresh 30. Looking for Tate. Loose ball. Tate comes up with it. In the corner. Morgan almost got a piece of it. By Wesson that created the whistle. It's his first foul. Sometimes big bodies like that get used against the guy. Even when they're not committing fouls, they'll get called for it. Johnson fading away. Tough shot. Bates Diop pulls down the board. Transition. Cam Williams too strong. Falls right to Zach McRoberts. And that's not a bad shot by Williams. Six in the conference and three points for percentage. That's the way the game's being played these days. How about this finish by Robert Johnson? Five straight games in double figures, 29 at Iowa. Of course, knocked down nine threes to tie a school record. But he's looking for some redemption. The last time these two teams played, just one of six on the field, two points. And that obviously hurt the Hoosier attack. Tate trying to get the offensive glass. Bates Diop, the kick out. Three good this time, Cam Williams. Now just four points shy of 1,000 for his career. Johnson really active, running through screens. He's almost on a full circle. He's in the hit AR battling for number one in the Big Ten. Outstanding job. Johnson had position, puts it through. You know, what Chris told us earlier today, in practice, a lot of it has to do with the chemistry and the leadership of guys like Jay Sean Tate and Kata Bates Diop, that they bought into a new coach, and the rest of the guys followed. Wesson tips it and inadvertently writes to Zach McRoberts. 
of the great stories of the conference, the walk-on, an Indiana native. A two by Morgan. Jackson pushes ahead. Andre Weston has a hard time holding on, but does. I'll take one of those guys who just referenced Almost gave up basketball leading into this season. He decided he maybe wanted to play football instead, but good thing he stuck with it. That's a nice job by Morgan to hold his spot against West and not allow West to back him down. A little runner by Jackson. He thought he got fouled. He was at. As in, what was that? <laughs> Dante Green brings it across. Again, look at the motion. I mean, Robert Johnson. And by the time this game is over, he probably will have surpassed the five-mile mark without the ball. Green now with seven to shoot. Trying to find some space, and it's swatted away by Bates Diop. He pushes ahead, Bates Diop to the rim, and he's fouled. He's not the kind of guy that's going to beat you off. Weston gets a breather for Ohio State. This team greatly exceed expectations. You've got to give him a lot of credit for that. Offensive foul. Obviously, have to give them an opportunity to change direction before making contact. Andrew Dockage on the floor for the first time for the Buckeyes. Bates Diaz contested three, and he's fouled. He'll shoot three times. Put the Flyers to the tournament each of the last four years. Obviously. Oh, when one son is the helm of Indiana and the other son is the helm of Arizona, you're talking about two potential powerhouses. Yep. Newkirk thought about it. Instead gives it up. Contested deep two by Smith. Here comes Dockich, of course, his father, Dan, the former Hoosier. Bates Diop, an open three this time, and he makes him pay. But it just shows you. Bates Diaz's versatility can knock down a three or a 36 percent. He's a terrific rebounder. I mean, with his length, he can guard just about any position out on the floor. This line drive, Durham puts it in reverse. Yeah, he's guarding the point guard right now. Tries to draw contact. No foul. Offensive rebound underneath. Morgan can't finish either. Entry pass. First touch by Micah Potter. Potter battling. He gets fouled. That's the second. This way, that kind of physical play down low, and particularly displacing rebounders as well as defensive players down low. Buckeyes an 8 0 run in just over 90 seconds. Entry pass to Smith. Go baseline. Some uh, some mention as well, and we mentioned Kata Bates Diop. You know, Ethan Happ is having a, a pretty good year as well, and Juwan Morgan. But I think the four out there were the front runners in my mind. Right now, who's just trying to snap an eight-nothing Buckeyes run? Seven to shoot, fade away by Green off the mark. Winds up in the hands of C.J. Jackson. Jackson coming off a near-season best, 18 points against Rutgers. And just going back to the player of the year in the Big Ten, the candidacy, you got to have more than one dimension. It's not, it's not enough to be, you know, one of the top scorers if you're not a, a top rebounder or a high field goal percentage or a top assist person. You got to be more dimensional. Michael Potter can't finish the dunk. Dockish winds up with it, and the ball remains with the Buckeyes. Activates Diop, hunts his second three, rattles out. Loose ball, controlled this time by Justin Smith. That ball did everything but go in, but you see how Ohio State does a good job of identifying open men. Newkirk gives it up, Smith puts it through. Much better job utilizing that upper body strength down low despite the defenders hovering over you. You just have to go up strong and take the contact. Dockets the former Wolverine. Not the usual transition over to the Buckeyes. Trying to shoot. HD up with now four to shoot and no dribble. Potter.
at the horn. That's a good job by Dockage recognizing shot clock going down. Just made one bit of penetration to draw um, Potter's man to him. He found the open guy. McSwain has it picked off by Bates Diop. So bring it across. And the paint, tough two. No bounce through, pulled down by Justin Smith. And that was an excellent example of what McRoberts brings to the table. Outstanding defense without fouling. Now the turnover. Ahead to Micah Potter. And a collision with Newkirk. And will stay with the Buckeyes. The Hoosiers just checked in. Did not play against the Buckeyes in January. McRoberts can't hold on. Bates Diop front iron. And Freddie McSwain, a rebound and Beast gets the board. Johnson back on the floor now. Penetrates, pulls up. Got it. Yeah, he was just, he was just surely need Robert Johnson to contribute offensively. As I said, the last time they were handled easily by Ohio State, and Johnson just registered two points. He's their second leading scorer. They feed Wesson. He gets triple team. Seven to shoot. Ooh, that's a screen right there, folks. No foul called. The ball is out of bounds, and it's held on to by Ohio State with three of the Rightly so. No call that. Take hitting it. You take that frustration out on your teammates for not calling it out. Johnson leading Hoosier scores with six points early. Straight away three, too strong, and off to the left by Hartman. You really have to work when you're playing Weston because he moves pretty nicely. Good quick feet, plus that big body hard to get around to kind of side him. Bates Diop for three, and he's able to rattle it through. That's his second. Bates Diop leading all scores with nine so far. Looking for Hartman. They kick it all the way out to Johnson. Johnson able to drop. You're up eight. And that's what Chris Holtman was imploring his guys to do. Hartman for three. Right to Bates Diop. Rocket Jones gets it picked off. You also got to be careful the guys get their hand underneath that ball. And we see it far too often. Well, West has been pretty quiet so far tonight. Just two points. That was the first miss against Indiana all year. <laughs> right. He's been eight for eight. Devontae Green gets it blocked. Now, Wesson was a beast in their earlier meeting in January. Nice. Bates Diop in the paint. And falls to McRoberts. Yeah, uh, once again, though, rushing the shot a little bit instead of stopping and utilizing his length to just shoot over the defender. And again, despite having a lead, Ohio State's offense is erratic. Another turnover, Juwan Morgan just lost it. Indiana playing in their hands because they've given him extra possession. Tate back door, off the glass, the reverse by Cam Williams. He's got seven. But he doesn't want them to overcommit and allow Ohio State to use their aggressiveness against them, which is what happened there on the back door. Hoosiers have missed nine of their last 11 shots. Now to the shoot. Morgan with five to shoot. Take it on Tate. Runs into traffic, draws a foul. There's another big man. By the way, the second on Caleb Wesson. Missed them both. Dockage looking low instead, gives it up to Williams. Williams with the touch. And there's the big body of Caleb Wesson that set that pin down screen. Well, without getting a third, he did a nice job out there making his presence known. One drawing a lot of attention, allowing a back door to occur, and the other setting a terrific screen to free open a jump shooter. Johnson gets a three. Last 
five minutes and 15 seconds and so Indiana's got to find a way to get some of those possessions back that they've been giving away with the turnovers. Dockett steps out of bounds. Morgan had four points early has been quiet since. Posting. Tate on his back. Battling for position. Scoops underneath. Nice. Counted and won. A little more efficient. And that's what we've seen right now. And this Ohio State lead really cut into now just six. The up in traffic picked off by Durham. Newkirk, finger roll, and the finish by Justin Smith. Andre Weston looking back door for Bates Diop. Bates Diop, long two, front iron. And you know, we talked about his drop off. You know, averaging just 13 points over the last couple of games. A lot of that has to do with fatigue, and that demonstrates it right there. That was kind of a bailout shot. You take those shots when you're too tired to work harder. Like Swain, off the mark. Bates Diop last three games barely shooting 30%. Yeah, he's got to get more energy. He's got to actually get some easier shots. Posting up is a good opportunity. Home court, there's no guarantee you're going to be able to handle them. And right now, the Buckeyes have all they can handle. And that was a convincing win by Ohio State against the Spartans. Jackson launching a deep three, and he finds it. Much improved three-point shooter this year, C.J. Jackson. Create a little breathing room with good execution. Take a little hard hedges out there. Again, trying to disrupt the Indiana flow. Newkirk finds a little seam. Kicks it away to Durham. He hunts a three. All right, that was just pretty basketball. Josh Newkirk, third assist. Coming off the bounce, drawing the defense. And wide open shooters ready to shoot with confidence. Tate looking low to the elbow. This match here, Bates Diop turns around, hits it. I'm gonna say he better turn around. You know, he's got a 6'1 guy on him. He's 6'7, 6'8 with that length. You know, if there's any time for you to get aggressive offensively, that's it. He leads all scores with 11 now. Newkirk, wide open three. He has really struggled from distance. He's missed 17 of his last 18 threes. It's that one, though. Yeah, he's giving the Hoosiers a lift coming out of that timeout. Picked off. Right to Freddie McSwain. Indiana can tie. They've led by as few as two in this game tonight. Meanwhile, the Buckeyes have led by as many as a dozen. Durham in the paint. Almost lost it. Now some space opens up. Counted. As he should. He recognizes the opportunity. Can't tie the game, though. Buckeyes by one under 90 seconds here in the first half. It off the screen. Bates Diop with eight to shoot, looking for his third three. And Swain just swats it over the decision. It is Buckeye's ball. And a full 30 seconds. Well, Bates Diop, if he gets another chance, a guy comes flying at him. You got to put it on the floor and go to the basket as opposed to settling. on Jackson under a minute to play. Jackson pulls up tough angle and McSwain flies it out of no on the one and one. I don't have the smooth muscle control. Well, here I go. Now, come on, Lynn. Yeah. The Bates 
Christie up. Five to shoot. Bates Diop. Turn around jumper off the window at the horn. Boy, elevate and then locate. And that's what Bates Diop did. Newkirk fouled. Front iron. A tough shot regardless by Newkirk, and here they bailed him out. All time. 2.2 left here in the first half. Baseball toss to Tate. Tate off the glass. No good, boy. Good up. Now, Newkirk, who did not start the game, starts the second half. And yeah. point for Indiana. Yeah, he was such a catalyst in the run on the offensive, and there's a big mistake right there to start. Cam Williams. He's in double figures with 11 now. Sometimes plays like that, you know, you work so hard in the first half to inflate your confidence. Plays like that deflate you so quickly. New Kirk, one of five seniors for Indiana tonight. Who's tonight? Senior night, rather. McSwain rejected by Tate. Walling up. You might have incidental contact without it being called a foul. Morgan fade with one of the shot clock. Almost put back in by McSwain. Quickly ahead, C.J. Jackson. H.D. up, squares, plants. Puts it through. And that's much better. Instead of him lingering outside, taking some of the ill-advised threes that he did in the first half, even though he was the leading scorer for his team, He's so much more effective with the mismatches, his size and length down on the block. Now he had a double double against the Hoosiers in January, 13 and 13. Now 15 points tonight. Johnson taking, hanging. Too strong. One hand a rebound, Morgan. McSwain fighting for it and a whistle. Rebound can't put it back in, but that's what Indiana's going to have to do. They've got to neutralize the length of Ohio State by some hard charging on the offensive glass. And Kirk looking for McSwain. He can handle, make plays. He's a solid defender. He's also a senior, and he can play with some basketball intelligence and play, still play, be effective without drawing foul. Johnson heaves a three. Rims out. Swain collides. Now Jackson, the Buckeyes' assist leader, but there haven't been many of those lately. He's one of the guys Chris Holman talked to us about earlier today. Maybe some tired legs. Contact underneath. The argument was that the Ohio State player had possession and then was bumped. Off the glass and good. Caleb Weston, a pretty quiet first half, just two points. Weston, who was seven for seven from the floor in January against Indiana. Newkirk, nearly straightaway three. Bates Diop can't hold on to it in the hands of McRoberts. Yeah, that's when you're in the right place at the right time. You usually make plays like that. Robert Johnson. It's Diop holds on to it this time around. And Indiana can't fall in love with the perimeter jumper. They've got to go inside out, put some pressure on the Ohio State defense instead of bailing them out with perimeter jumpers. Quick turnover. Indiana's missed all seven of its shots since halftime. McSwain, quick kick out. McRoberts. Now Aaron, it's as simple as that. One pass inside. The defense takes one step in, as they naturally will do. You kick it back to a shooter, stepping into it, and you find success. First points tonight from Zach McRoberts. Three try, off the iron. Long rebound out to Jackson. He plants and finishes. And those long shots create long rebounds. McSwain battling. Into the hands of Tate. He pushes. Tate. Left hand. Good. <laughs> With the crossover. And a couple of minutes ago, you were asking me, was I surprised that Tate is still on the floor? Because he can do stuff <laughs> like that. You know, keep the offense percolating. Uh, surprisingly for Tate, his first bucket tonight. Averaging 15 and 13 his last two games. Damn is getting in the corner. 
Oh. Val Jordan is doing it the Butler way, and of course. Robert Johnson, his second three. Of course, as I always say, Kevin Keats can coach. All five of those men, first year at a new school. By the way, as we went to break just a few moments ago, Caleb Weston was whistled for a foul, his third. As he tips it to Bates Diop. So the Buckeyes with Tate and Caleb Weston with three fouls. Very prominent players for the Buckeyes. And if you notice, Tate off the floor right now. Weston dives for it. Crowd wants to travel. Long runner, Cam Williams. He's having himself a night. He's got 13. If there's anything that you can't allow happen if you're Indiana, is Ohio State beating you to the 50-50 ball. Not at home. You've got to out-hustle them. you got to out-effort uh, this, this Buckeye team. And right now, the Buckeyes are demonstrating desire. I was going to mention Jason Tate on the bench right now. Chris Holman, see if you got enough out of him. What a move by Newkirk! He's absolutely been the catalyst of the Indiana runs. The question is, can his team sustain behind him? Another terrific move to the basket. Uh, he's been a starter the majority of the season, has been coming off the bench recently, playing like a starter tonight, though. Bates Diop, six to shoot, fades. Good job by McRoberts, not giving ground. Bates Diop may be long, lean, athletic, but not strong enough to move the defender away. New Kirk steps into a three, and it falls right to Caleb Wesson. In the paint. Those guys get tied up a lot. West End contact. He'll shoot to the side. But that is a sweet move. Nifty scoring balls right now. 16 Ohio State. Yeah, Potter in the game right now, primarily for post defense. Rebounding and certainly hustle. Just another live body. But West End playing him so tightly. Here's Morgan. Double, yeah. gives it up, off the glass, Justin Smith. And that's a good sign for the Hoosiers. Morgan, not desperate to shoot, he's trying to make plays. HDF trying to create off the dribble, and he does. 17 for the conference's second leading scorer. He does it so effortlessly. Looks so smooth out there, even though he had to battle some physical play. Now seven to shoot. Johnson behind the back. What a move again. Boy, Potter with no match. But Johnson in the open floor off the bounce. And as I said, Morgan and Johnson have to be totally involved in the offense. They certainly have to pick up the defensive end as well. Potter can't hold on. Turnover. Morgan across midcourt. Alley oop. Watch out. Off the mark. Justin Smith out of his sights. Boy, one possession game. You can't take that. The guy that Archie Miller also called an absolute rock on defense. Smith hanging short. Try to follow. Every once in a while, I got to get that out. You're right. It's a young, it's a young world here. Green with now 10 to shoot. There's Johnson again. Johnson now six straight games in double figures. Fouled. Oh. Senior from Richmond, Virginia. Two-point Ohio State lead. And that man is back in the ball game. Jason Tate, the guy who pretty much a leader, can match up in a lot of positions with his versatility. He gets the touch low. Tries to follow. Out of bounds. It's against him. 
you know, maybe subconsciously you don't think that they have been fouled and they just create the contact. Durham off the bounce, seam opens, he finishes. Tied at 48. All about challenging the defense. A kick is called. Tate off the dribble. Head fake finishes. Buckeyes back on top by two. Yeah, such a valuable guy to have out there on the floor. Morgan fouled. One of these better looks, and once you see the ball through the basket, go through the basket a few times, you start playing with a lot more offensive confidence, free conscience. Bates Diop checking back in for Ohio State. This game's leading score with 17. Drive, Justin Smith. I was talking about challenging the defense, but on a couple of drives, there's been no defense to challenge. Jackson three answers on the other end. Guy who scores a ton of points because he has a high usage rate and has a lot of assists, but his team is not winning. And he turns it over five times a game. Or you can take the guy that can score, that can uh, shoot a high percentage, keeps his people involved, and takes care of the ball. I'll take that guy every time. How's that for not too subtle? Now, would you be running show? He's my pick. Dockett brings it across, picked up by Newkirk. Take pretty quiet offensive day given his recent performances. Kind of body up, no foul called, no finish either. Put back this time by Caleb Wesson. And that's what you don't want if you're Indiana. You don't want to be battling down low with the size, width, and length of Ohio State. As they've gone the zone right now. Newkirk gets it up. Smith, hammer time, watch out! Five. We have seen some ferocious finishes at the rim tonight. That was payback from the time that uh, the possession that Ohio State had. It is big stick over down low. That was a message. Indiana a chance to tie once again. They've only led by as many as two or as little as two in this game. Johnson leading the Hoosiers with 15. Tough fadeaway deep two, and that's the result. Once again, they never explored inside. Jackson looking for Wesson. Stumbles, recovered. Bates Diop spinning, hanging, what a finish. Yeah, as I said, not much you can do with that young man. Absolute patience, sweet touch down low. And most importantly for Ohio State, he's not settling for three. He's working hard to get the higher percentage shot, put a lot of pressure on the Indiana D. Juan Morgan has been held scoreless so far in the second half. Hoosiers leading scorer and rebounder gives it up again to Smith. Aaron, you're right. He's been scoreless, but he's also been a trigger man on several outstanding dunks and high percentage shots playing decoy. He's making it work. Tate hangs left hand right through. I think by now everybody understands that Jason Tate is a lefty. <laughs> everybody maybe except the five guys in the end on the floor because they haven't taken away from him. Johnson doubled, backs out. Johnson now with seven on the shot clock. McRoberts fadeaway three. What a 
a shot. Zach McRoberts doesn't take him often, but he makes it count when they need him most. That we talked about where they get past one guy and there's no defense to speak of. Stay connected means staying with your men and actually communicating. Feed Morgan finishes foul. You can uh, recognize the fact that the alley oop or the lob was coming. Now Morgan has had his struggles two for six at the line. By the way, Jay Sean Tate now with four fouls. Well, this is seemingly as close as Indiana has gotten all second half. Back to the break even more. And then Ohio State has always had an answer. And as often as they can. Williams having a good game, 13 points. Under five minutes now. All tied at 59. Boy, Wesson broke wide open. Jackson couldn't find him. I don't know how you can't find that big fella. Bates Diop with three on the shot clock. Pulled down by Tate. Loose ball. Get it into Tate. Jackson, three. Here come the Hoosiers. Almost disaster. You got to communicate on the glass. Same team. Straightaway three. Rams out. That's not a bad shot because that's his shot. You know, off the pick and pop, you get wide open. You got to take that look. Diop posting. Intercepted by Roberts. McRoberts coming across midcourt. Newkirk off the window and good. Tied for the largest lead tonight by Indiana. Smart basketball. Unselfish basketball. Entry pass Wesson. Rejected. Side out with their post people. Buckeyes trying to snap a 7-0 Hoosiers run. Tate in traffic puts it through. That'll do it. Yeah, you just got to love Jason Tate. Finds a high percentage shot. As I said, uses that big body to get to where he wants to be. And gets the defenses out of position. Johnson off the screen. Loose ball. Controlled. Foul. And to give up the aggressive play since Ohio State's in the penalty right now. So if they go to the basket hard, get fouled, you know, they're going to go to the bonus. Morgan, the only Hoosier in foul trouble. HD up a game high 19. Puts it right through. And the face of Justin Smith. Yeah, nothing Justin Smith could do any better than what he did. You know, he was down low, ready to play the drive, contested the jump shot. That's just better offense than Bates Dio. Smith into the paint. Has it blocked. Boy. Settling for jumpers. Just like that. Now he goes. It's the front end of the one. It's him to play defense or back off since he has four fouls. Couple of big free throws. Back to a tie game, even at 63, approaching the two minute mark. <laughs> Left wide open, Cam Williams, too strong. And it's controlled by Johnson. Outstanding defense. He had a lot of cutters and rollers to the basket, and Indiana played them perfectly. Pressured the ball, didn't allow the interior pass in the Big Ten. Finger tips on it. Bates Diop forces the turnover. Quick reaction by Bates Diop. Under 90 seconds.
Jackson looking low, had tape for a second. Almost picked off. Five to shoot for Jackson. He chucks a three, and it rims out. Wow. <laughs> you can't shoot it any better than that and not come up with a goal. All the way to the rim, and that rims out on the other end by Johnson. And, and try to eat some clock for sure. But yeah, you try to get to your best player, let him make a play. Wesson going back door. Johnson got a hand on it, but not enough. Yeah, they tried to use Indiana's aggressiveness against them, but good recovery by Johnson. Tate, a lot of dribbling. Tate, tough two. Ripped down by McSwain. And guess what, Aaron? Morgan got the message. Tate's a lefty. Roberts to inbounds. Into the hands of Robert Johnson. And there's a spread floor to one fourth situation. Johnson's got free reign right now. Under 10 seconds. There's a high screen. Nope. Slips it. Johnson pulls up, hangs. Loose ball. Under two seconds. Newkirk a heave. It was in line. We are going to overtime. Uh, kind of help facilitate that connection. You saw that 0-1 record for Ohio State in overtime this year. That was to Holtman's former team. An over team overtime loss to Butler. Overtime win for Indiana against Notre Dame earlier this season. Five minutes in overtime. That's got to be a hold, absolutely. Tapped alive, no surprise by Zach McRoberts. Yeah, Archie Miller told us McRoberts' value is in the intangible stuff. Stuff doesn't always show up on the stat sheet. Now his former coach at Vermont, John Becker, ran into Archie Miller on the recruiting path over the offseason, and he said that McRoberts, he said to Archie, he'll win you a couple of games. Archie had no idea what he was talking about until now. Four on the shot clock, long floater, Johnson, almost put through by Morgan. A minute into overtime, Indiana by one. And yeah, that's tough. Almost a minute of possession by Indiana. And they come up empty. Weston backing. Fouled. Chucks it up there. They did a nice job of taking him off the block and out of the. Gets a second. Roberts looking for Morgan. Roberts cuts, gets it, finishes. Outstanding cut by McRoberts, but what a pass. Tate looking to go baseline. Cut off by Smith. Tate backing down. Little bunny goes through by Caleb Wesson. And how about Tate, the facilitator on the block? Again, so adept not only at scoring down low, but also finding people with pinpoint passes. And if I was Ohio State, I'd wait a little bit after screening and looking inside, allow Wesson to use his body to get in position when they're on the offensive end. New Kirk stumbles, turned it over into the hands of Cam Williams. Buck has a chance to take the lead. Wesson wide open, they found him. He gets the feed. A dozen for Wesson. Just as you were saying, he had a pretty quiet regulation. Yeah, and what happened was his team now playing a little more patiently. And when they're patient, they can wait for him to get in position. That time, Indiana just totally lost him. Now, Wesson had seven in regulation. He has six here in overtime. And he's given Ohio State the lead. Johnson with now seven to shoot. Morgan, tough shot. What a finish. Well, Morgan cognizant of the fact that Wesson had four fouls. No hesitation down low. 
and that's where Indiana has to continue to go. At least start your offense there. Tied under two minutes. Williams, tough two. Boy, quiet as it's kept, man. Cam Williams with 15 points. He's the second leading scorer for Ohio State tonight. Bates D up with 21. None in overtime. Here. Close to the one minute mark. Smith taking. Boy, he had a lot of those go through in the second half. He's taking a lot of contact, but he can't worry about the officials blowing the whistle. You got to play through the contact. Timeout call. Now let's see what Ohio State cooked up in the timeout. This is where they needed extra possession. Bates Diop straight away three too strong. Into the hands of Nick Roberts. Could have made that a two possession ball game and a total uphill climb for Indiana. But right now they just go. Michigan State outright Big Ten champ. You look for a two or a three here, Lynn. Best available shot. Morgan, baseline, position. Cannot put it through. Tip back. Nick Roberts once again. All the little things. About a two-second differential shot clock to game clock. Yeah, they went at Weston because he's got three fouls, and Morgan's a lot quicker than he is. And now he's got to make himself available. Another timeout call. Right to Robert Johnson. Seven on the shot clock. Johnson has a window open up. He's fouled. He will go to the line. And he does. Seven man on the ball, I think, but they're going to get it in. Now it's solid defense without fouling. Tate gives it up. Turnover, a long chuck by Morgan. And we are going. Assembly Hall. What an atmosphere tonight. Over 17,000 strong. Another sellout. But right now, I look for Ohio State at least to try to go at Morgan's man. Morgan with four fouls. Get him out of the game. And maybe it's a little bit downhill. Entry pass. Bates D up. What a pass. He gets fouled. Right arm around. Gets the second. Leads all scores with 22. Justin Smith having himself an evening. 14 points for the freshman. He's gone. Wow. Three for 10. And a game in our second overtime. Pulls up too strong. Long rebound out to Morgan. Yeah, I'm not understanding that offense. You got an advantage. Morgan, two hands, clear the deck. As I mentioned, keep going at him. But on the other hand, I think Williams shot a little too fast instead of, again, challenging the Ohio State, I'm sorry, the Indiana defense. Weston out of position. Bates Diop is asking the ball. Five seconds on the shot clock. Jackson creating, hanging, rejected. Staying up in the air. Bates Diop, quick touch, puts it up. Falls right to Justin Smith. Yeah, you had to deter the law and make that a harder shot, which it was. Indiana has never led by more than two in this game. Probably Morgan didn't turn around and try to post. Smith. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a perfect time to slam. Tate spins. Left hand off the window. And Morgan couldn't afford to take any chances with four fouls. And Tate knew it, too. Took him as close to the basket as he possibly needed to. Buckeyes back on top by one. Oh, 
Try to feed Morgan and a foul. Just allowing Morgan to get in and score. For the lead. It has been such a struggle for Morgan to the strike, but he gets both this time. Hoosiers by one. Eight over to the wing. It's the end. So close trying to post. Dockic with six to shoot. To Tate. Again off the glass and good. Uh, excellent penetration by Dockage, but Tate steps up and gets his man on his back in the paint to give Dockage a target. Pass back to the top by one. Smith stripped by Dockage. Over the weak side. That's how the weak side anticipated. Smith spins, hangs. What a finish. His first points of overtime, he's got 16, gives Indiana the lead. Yeah, Smith gave Tate a little taste of what Tate's been handing out on that spin. Ninety seconds. Five to shoot. Bates Diop, three to shoot. Long straightaway three. Huge rebound, Robert Johnson in the foul. Side inbounds, Dockage. Fresh 30 seconds for the Buckeyes. HD out, backing down. Backing down, hanging, puts it through. Well, McRoberts, because this is the critical possession right here. Josh Newkirk, the senior, brings it across. Remember, Ohio State had a lot of communication problems, particularly on the defensive end. Justin Smith going up against Tate. Too strong. Brought down. Bates D out. Indiana does not have to foul. They still have an opportunity. With a 12-second differential on the shot clock, they got an opportunity to make a stop and still come down and get some quality offense. Jackson controls with nine to shoot. Dockets can't hold on. Over and back. Unbelievable. India down. Indiana down by one. Morgan High penetrates. Backing down. Left hand gives the Hoosiers the lead. No timeouts left. Jackson deep three. Oh, oh my goodness, he got it. Two, under two, half-court heave, Johnson. What a thriller in Bloomington. 80-78 the final.